Harren Hall is a building in CK3 Game of Thrones that gives you insane bonuses, but with a catch. It's completely desolate at the start of the game. It's also maybe cursed a little bit. My friend Midgeman challenged me to restore Harren Hall to the overpowered holding it can be and to try and beat his time. He came into this challenge with a spreadsheet and a plan, whereas I'm armed with an optimistic attitude. So let's see if I can summon the thousands of ducats necessary to restore Harren Hall and beat Midge at his own game. If you want to see more of this kind of content, or CK3 in general, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and go check out Midge's video, it's pretty good. Okay, Harren Hall, cursed, that sort of stuff, holding taxes are bad, levy size bad, that sort of stuff, but at its peak, no longer have those debuffs. Pretty good. We have to do this in what, 106 years? That was the challenge that Midge sent. Uh, so, how am I going to do that? Midge had all these plans. I don't. I'm, I'm vibes. That's the plan. Vibes. I think I'm going to revoke all of this stuff. I'm going to go via conquest and try and bring up as much money as possible because, oh God, our player air sucks. He's got zero stewardship. Oh no. We need this kid to be our, our heir. That's fine. We'll get the other one killed. That's okay. We can do that. Hey, choose a patron aspect. The two ways I see of doing this are full stewardship and full intrigue. Full intrigue is probably a better idea. How much intrigue does our character have? Okay, we're going to go stewardship on this one. Uh, and we're going to re-roll these. Go full wealth focus, reset our perks, and go down tax man one. 44. He's not going to be too <laughs> alive too long. We could request a loan. Let's see what we could do with that. In the meantime, big rebellions. I think we need to start season holdings. Edward Stark and John of the Vale of my nephews in law well they wouldn't accept but that's, that's nice oh you might okay let's try swaying john i'm gonna put all of my eggs in the second sun basket my heir being unmarried is fine 106 years what's this so if i gain a thousand i could get going on harren hall almost but they'll need repayment in 18 months what happens if i don't pay it back will they kill me because that's fine that's how i get rid of my other my other heir okay so at the end of my life i'm gonna start committing large acts of fraud <laughs> you picked the wrong castle fool okay gta nice all right i'm gonna go and apparently kill someone we we killed harl that gives us the thief slayer we gained some prestige and some money which is not bad i think let's start improving our holdings down here this is the good son right i think this is the good one no you're not allowed to leave i need you to stay nice he gives up on his hopes and dreams my child simon wants to become father knight's watch no i have other plans i need you for alliances <laughs> it's a He's now less likely to do it. Cool. Since trying to get him to be my ally. Okay, are there any dangers? I think there are. Um, we're going to go on a taxation tour. We need 185. I think this, this all increases the starting success, right? And all of my vassals really like me, which means it sucks. I'm going to have to steal some land. I need to do these tours as often as possible. Okay, this should work. It's costing us 185 to do this. Cool. Someone else has refused to let me in. Okay, Rob Baratheon's taken the Iron Throne. We've actually made the money back, which is good. Buy Master of the Riverlands. Cool. Okay, we only made 100 or so there. 70, in fact. Um, but the most important thing is that we can imprison someone. All right, smash his army first. Wars are expensive, so I don't really want to be here for too, too long. Where are you going? I'm in a challenge here. There we go. Imprison you. Let's up our authority. And he'll accept. Good. Grab ourselves another territory and this guy's a known criminal so we're gonna revoke his title as well and then we'll form gonna revoke the other one as well act to tyranny 20 opinion that's fine revoke that now i need a better wife so what we're gonna do is ask my wife to go to join the sisterhood uh we need someone with as high stewardship as possible jesus christ 32 yes please uh, our income has gone up significantly and we'll take the cash oh john died from his wounds my prisoner and vassal still my vassal oh yeah timberhall um uh let's what's this ransom there's no offer cool uh i don't need to fight you i've already got you in prison so no you don't get tribal combat get high taxes from you All right and what can we negotiate with our liege that's me <laughs> okay this one paramount of the hoster of the river Lands. It's worth noting that uh, the primary title has to stay as Harren Hall, according to Mitch. That's the rules he set. Doesn't mean I can't be regent. Fortification cost gives us... That's great. Let's do that. Um, and in return, I will give you high feudal levies. We'll get minus 15% building construction costs and 50% to construct castle, construct castle holding construction. He'll accept that. Could make things a lot cheaper for us. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. Cool. I'm steward of the Riverlands. That should help me a decent amount in terms of the construction costs. Yes, it's like, it's ridiculously cheap now because we are an architect, leisure steward, fortification rights, and also cut cornerstones. Okay. That means Harren House probably a lot cheaper, right? Yeah, 1250 now instead of 1700. I think I am going to denounce him. Right, we're denouncing him. Okay, we imprisoned him. Which means when the time comes, see, he'll, uh, he won't turn up. I think this means that, yeah, he'll become, uh, he'll become a black brother. Yeah, let's even kill him off by sending him to the dungeon. I'm assuming everyone's upset at me. Just the holding taxes get worse on the second level. But that 700 is too good to ignore. Income plus stress level. 
That should help a little bit. Okay, we inherited a province because we killed the man in our prisons. Okay, let's give this to one of our sons. And we've got spine keep. We've got to time it such that before we die, we take out the loan. Been about 10. We've had 10% of our time and we've done zero of Harrenhal. It's fine because we... Oh, what the hell is this? Why am I fighting? We won. C congrats. Well done. What? Why am I fighting? I'm old. <laughs> no. I'm no longer willing to fight. Get me out of here. Vow of poverty. God, no, please. I want to increase my stress a little bit. We're getting married to uh, Robert, the Iron Throne. <laughs> that makes sense. Cool. We're now allied to him. Doesn't really mean anything, but, you know, we're allied to him. Holding taxes minus 25%. No. Levy size minus 25%, but we get holding taxes plus 15%. So, please. Okay. Stress is going up, but that increases our amount of income. So, I'm just trying to sit at level 2 stress. And then we could do level 3 if it looks like he's going to die. And then um, keep... Like, get the loan. Okay, we're infirm. I think now is the time. Yeah, dying. Come on, buddy. Stay alive. Take the thousand. Aaron Hall won. Now we give the rest of it to this kid. The only issue is he is not nearly as good as this guy. Yeah, that's all the money I have given to him. It's a 20% interest loan. Christ, you got really shafted. Every time, just going to keep on sending him money. Do you need to just die here as soon as we can? In your own time, matey. Earning with age. Please die. Just die before they come knocking. Come on, man. I thought it was a death doorstep and I'm just absolutely fine. The mad thing is I could probably have paid it off in the time it's taken me to uh, to do this. Oh, God. Curse of Harrenhal. I'm a lunatic. Dude, please just die. Come on. Okay. He is a lot farther away from death than, uh, than I think everyone was saying. This guy, I've got 900 here. And I've upgraded two buildings in the meantime. I should have just kept it. Yeah, not really that far from death then, are you? I'm starting to think I should just play normally. Yeah, clearly not dying. All right, I guess. Still accruing more interest. Just don't pay him back. I should have just kept the money and then just start, carried on building. I'm no longer at death's door. They've reached the end of their patience. I'm a trick up my sleeve. I'm dying again. Really? Hmm. All right. Come on. There we go. Cool. Okay. And I no longer have to do the whole Iron Bank thing. Oh, my son died. I need to change my patron away from the minus one stewardship, minus 5% fertility. Uh, let's go over to this one. And I think that should, yep, four out of four. Sweet. Do it to the Riverlands. Perfect. That's exactly where I want to be. All right. Start improving our holdings. If I'm forced to, I will start raiding people and doing that sort of thing. But I would very much rather not. Rob is having a great time. He's married to Liana. There's no Lannister interference. My wife's pregnant. It's great. Tercy's unmarried. <laughs> now, other sons now sickly. Oh, for God's sake. Why am I... <sighs> Legacy of the Conqueror. All right, well, I'll, I'll do that then. It's going to overwhelm me with stress. A lot of stress, actually. That's fine. All right, I'm also creating a bunch of cities around the place. Okay, thinking about the rules, it says the primary title has to be Harrenhal, right? So what if I went into other areas as well? Primary title has to be Harrenhal. So why don't we go for, you know, like Lake Haven, get a couple of different duchies. Oh God, that's another son dead. Fortunately, my daughter's not terrible. She's just lazy. Oh, didn't educate her. Do a trip minus two. Cannot happen. Go forgiving. Oh, they wouldn't wait for me. Well, I'll join the hunt. Oh, I'm too late. All right, let's uh, join this hunt. Oh, <laughs> immediately had to leave. Cool. Okay, we've gone to war against this lot for the duchy. Realistically, this should be a stomp. Jane Snow Targaryen was... Oh, oh no. Lyanna and Rhaegar. So she's actually Targaryen. Interesting. Lord Edda of the North, by their failure to present themselves to the throne when accounting for Jane's heritage, are deemed traitors to the Romans here by sentence to death. Mate. You're allied to him. That's kind of rough. I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved. Robert is being attacked by Lord Eddard. Oh, man. Because he decided to join. Like, hi, what's his name? Uh, this lot decided to stay loyal to the throne. It meant that I had to attack Robert. And obviously, I'm not doing that. So, that sucks. Dude, stop. Just please, break up with your lover. You gotta stop doing that, man. No, oh, they're marching through. You're a thrifty cluck. It's, it's not great. I'll be honest. Okay, so the next stage of Harren Hall is almost done. More importantly to me, we have another claim. So let's see if we can do it right this time. I really don't want to lose any control. Okay, cool. The Wailing Walls, the Wailing Tower is done. How much is the next one? This is going to take a long time. I suppose is the point. Aegon's Invasion. He's turned up. Frog must be sick of Targaryens. He had to fight um, the North for that. He had to fight the North, who, by the way, he just didn't do anything uh, against. Edid's still there. Oh, that's upsetting. I always find someone else. All right, I have twin sons. Anyone on the genius? You are. All right. I'm educating this one and I'll have to kill the other one. Remember, every time a character dies, I get a thousand. There might be uh, there might be something to be said about just constantly getting money from the Bank of Bravos to do this challenge, you know? 
Well, that feels a bit too cheesy. I'm not sieging the right province. I'm not sieging down this capital. Now, has Lake Heaven done yet? Yeah, unfortunately, this lot are independent, but I can take Lake Heaven as well. Again, I feel the need to point out that uh, as far as I'm aware, Midge said uh, Harrenhal had to remain your primary title. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this other stuff. I don't know like a Chancellor. It, it's been a rough couple of months. Come yeah, on, just finish it off, please. And we're done. I've got Admiral now. Uh, protect trade, please. Right, I can declare war on this guy. Take this one as well. They shouldn't some besiegers and then I'll just I'll wait him out gotta make sure he doesn't siege anything down okay now he'll go back over here and try and take this lot fine we can protect them why do you have something blazing on you oh my god what the hell is this a zealot oh christ okay Whew, almost lost that win this before he wins that you'd hope oh don't tell me we're gonna lose this siege race okay you're fighting for a province okay well I'll Take that back soon. More things, and we should be out of this war. See, I want to kind of develop my holdings a bit more, but I can't build anything else in a lot of these apart from this one. Uh, for example, in Hog Hall, I can I can only build if I have a large keep, which is going to cost 1100 on its own. Uh, and that, I don't know if that's worth it versus, you know, just going directly for Harren Hall. Having said that, we have a lot to go on Harren Hall. So... Hmm. All right, we should win this in a sec. So at this point, the sheer quantity of money we were making managed to lag out my encoder, meaning we have no audio. At least, that's what happened in my head. But that's fine. Allow me to take you through the rest of the quest for Harrenhal. Finishing up a war for our neighboring duchy, I figured this would put us in a good place once my heir took over, because the current guy was not going to last very long. This meant we had two things to do before death claimed him. The first is borrow money from the Iron Bank that we had no intentions of paying back, like my father before me, and also like my father before me, kill off the heir that isn't desirable. I didn't even have to wait for him to die because the accrued stress of, of killing his child was enough just to take him out. He abdicated and then died in his sleep literally a second later. So now we're a child for the next few years and have a regency. This would actually accelerate our progress in a way I hadn't anticipated, so more on that in a little bit. But this was crucial. For now, we had to deal with some rebels, which was easy enough given the death stacks that came from Old Town and Dawn, who would be our steadfast allies in the year to come. I mean, any sort of trouble, they'd be right there. Messing around with title revocation clauses meant we could yoink the titles of imprisoned vassals. I couldn't do this before because they had uh, protected titles uh, as a clause, but if we just promise them that they don't have to provide as many men, they then give us the right to make them homeless. After all this, we managed to gather up enough money to upgrade Harren Hall once more, which left us only one more immediate important decision, which is marriage. I ended up settling for Ariana because she's intelligent and has 16 stewardship, meaning our children are guaranteed the intelligent trait and have a shot at the genius trait. Now it's a case of trying to boost our income as much as possible. I figured that around plus 50 a month would be a good target, at which point I'd just focus everything on Harren Hall. It's kind of a hard equation to run. Do you just go for Harren Hall or, and lose out on all the income that your other holdings will give you? Or do you focus on the holdings, even though it might be more efficient to just go straight for Harren Hall? There's definitely some wiggle room here, which is why I think it could be more efficient in the future if I try this again. However, the discovery of the windmill made the decision for me and changed everything. So this building decreases construction costs with each successive level, meaning just a minor minus 5% to construction costs would result in around 350 gold saved on the Harren Hall construction. This combined with the fact that it also brings in more income meant it was a no-brainer to spam these things out. And I mean everywhere. This guy requested our income, which was helped by instability in the realm. It might seem strange, but each time the Iron Throne had a revolt, I'd stay neutral, which would make me independent, temporarily. The beauty in this is that I had no obligation to pay taxes to our liege during these periods. So whilst there was a war for the Iron Throne or some sort of rebellion, I just sat in and raked in as much cash as possible. But the single most important thing that meant our income shot up was our domain size. This is rather large for a duke and might seem rather strange given our first character basically maxed out stewardship. So how were we able to get more than him? It's because I never ended the regency. I figured out that the bonus I was getting from having a regent with high stewardship, plus the fact she could freely give me income and large sums of cash, meant that it was more efficient to keep her as a regent and never end the entrenched regency. It's basically medieval fraud. She steals money from the lords and gives it to me. They aren't upset at me because I technically didn't take it from them. And because she's a selfless regent, I'm under no threat. I did reload a couple of times to make sure it was more efficient, and it 100% was. I also think this disqualifies me from claiming faster than the midge. Uh, in terms of a title for this, because, you know, I did reload. That is kind of cheating. I mean, it's definitely cheating. I can't get away with that. Still, it's good to note for the future. After hitting the plus 50 uh, month goal and stacking all the construction cost modifiers I could find, we're looking at around a minus 50% to Harren Hall's construction cost. This is going to save us thousands of ducats. This meant we could start on Harren Hall earlier rather than later, which meant we could also get the insane benefits that you get from upgrading Harren Hall. I'd also finished the relevant stewardship lifestyle, so I had the architect perk, and it had to be done in this man's lifetime to be the most efficient. If I wait too long and this guy dies, then I lose around 30% construction cost uh, reduction. Finally, in the year 354, Harren Hall was fully restored, meaning I did beat Midge's time, so I think he has to redo the run. <laughs> I also think he can 100% beat this time because I didn't really plan it properly. If you at home can think of anything I missed, uh, please put it in the comments, because I'd be very intrigued to see where I went wrong or at least wasn't as efficient. I don't want to finish the video without seeing how powerful we actually are, and so after a quick independence war with our liege, 
and spamming out men at arms, including a plus 250 bonus to the cavalry station in Harrowhold itself, were actually one of the most powerful independent rulers in Westeros. The Iron Throne collapsed a little bit earlier. Despite only being a duke, we still sit at around 24,000 troops with a potential of around 30 to 35,000 quite easily. Uh, that rivals pretty much everyone else. So if you want to see more of CK3 and CK3 Game of Thrones, let me know by liking this video and subscribing. Also, go and check out Midge because I'm sure he'll have content you enjoy. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.